If you're wanting to switch to the new Unity input system, then the input switch tool by Ashdev on the Unity Asset Store is for you. This tool runs through the code on your game object and modifies it to use a new input system. It'll get you up and running super quick and easy. For the tutorial, I'll be using a free car controller from the Asset Store, a link is in the description. To start off, we'll import the input switch tool. When prompted if we want to restart, click yes. And then Unity does its thing and restarts, so we'll import it in again. All upgrade, import. Just taking a short look at the script that comes with the car controller, you can see the input is set up to use the old input system. So to get this set up, we'll create a new input action, or my input system, and next we'll go to tools, hash tools, input switch tool. For the input action asset, we'll drag in the new one we just created. For the target game object, we'll drag in our car with the car controller, and we'll click switch to new input system. You'll get this error here telling you that the input action asset is not empty. Close that. And if we open it up, you can see all of our new input mapping. And back in our script, you can see all of our code has been updated to use the new input system. Last thing we need to do to get this running, if we click on our car. You can see it's now asking us for an input action asset. So this one we've created, we'll drag it in and press play. Now the car controller is using the new input system. From there it's easy to set up extra input mapping. You can see what I've done here is I've added additional keys as well as Xbox controller support. The W key for up, I've also done the up arrow as well as the right trigger on the Xbox controller. I've gone through and done the same for all of these keys. Now I'm able to control the car using my Xbox controller. We're also able to map this to on-screen keys, so I've set up just some basic UI buttons. For our button up, we'll add an on-screen button. For the control path, set this to W, and run through the rest of the on-screen buttons, mapping them to the keyboard keys. Then when we press play, you can use those to control your vehicle. If you want to see more tutorials like this, then let me know in the comments.